Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to create some button highlights for your DVD menus in Adobe Encore. Now as you can see here I've already got my menu laid out. It's very simple, nothing spectacular, just a background with two buttons. I have my play button and then there's an arrow next to it. I have my chapter button and then another arrow next to that. What will happen is when I take this menu and I import it into Adobe Encore as a menu, these arrows will disappear and when you preview the menu or once you finalize it these arrows will show themselves whenever you either highlight the button with your mouse or with your TV remote or your DVD remote. To make that happen you want to make sure that the text or the shape as well as your highlight or for instance this arrow are in the same folder you put them into one folder and before the name you want to put in this parentheses plus parentheses and then you can name the folder group whatever you want to name it you do that for all of your buttons this tells Adobe Encore that these folders hold your buttons as well as all of their ass assets before your highlight for instance this arrow you want to type in parenthesis equals one parenthesis and then whatever the name is so now that we've done this we want to go ahead and save the project save it as a Photoshop file and then in Adobe Encore I've already got a timeline with a video inside of it so in my project window I'm going to right click import as menu and then I'm going to select my menu now as you can see these arrows have disappeared so I'm going to go to my flowchart here, drag my menu into the flowchart, and I'm just going to link up this workflow so that I can preview the disk, or preview the menu. And now when I hover over one of these options, the little arrow pops up to show that that's what you are about to select. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.